Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us this evening. Um, just wanted to give a quick reminder to everybody about Dungeon Fog, the online map maker. They sponsored all of our streams this month. Uh, really cool company, really cool product. Uh, go check it out at DungeonFog.com. And if you decide that you want to purchase it, you can get 10% off your annual subscription with the code MANSHORTS. Um, so I'm going to shift things over to Ethan, and he's going to bring us back up to speed on where we are and where we're going. Hey everyone, uh, thanks for joining us for another week of our ongoing campaign. Uh, so last week, uh, I know some of y'all might not have been there because we kind of had to push back a day. Um, but what it basically ended up happening is they went to a base, the basement of the library, met a uh, cool spider. Um, Studebaker made, made them all shoes. And they learned that the, um, basically a little bit more history about the orbs, uh, there's five of them uh associated with five titans uh the orbs were these arcane artifacts that were then used to power the titans themselves um uh one for each color it's uh blue white uh red green and black um and they know the existence of uh the blue one that's what was in rock chest the red one uh, is the one that uh took over tantor and then tele you know or blew up um and then they have a shard of the white the white one uh which they tested on a dead spider and it came back to life with uh vampire fangs and tried to attack ignatius uh, they uh it was actually veely oh yeah it was veely because veely is the one that uh that put the the shard back on him uh ignatius got mad that's right ignatius was very mad about that and then uh, they got back on the ship, and they were heading on the way back to Valifor to uh, return their findings. So uh, we join our party as they are uh, flying through through the skies, and doo -doo. Uh, and it's uh, kind of approaching nightfall uh, as y'all are. You're about uh, three or four hours away from Valifor, uh, so you'll you'll be entering into the city uh, with, with, at nighttime. Uh, I'm gonna snooze. I'm taking a nap in a hammock. Okay. Yeah, we had time for a full rest, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This 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 trip took quite a while to get back. All right. Yay, spell slots. Yep, yep. Everyone's back. Uh, everyone's fully he uh, healed. Sweet. And uh, I feel anyone... very refreshed. So, uh, does anyone want to do anything else before we enter into Valifor? I don't think so. I'm good. Okay, so let's go on back to the city map. Uh, so as y'all are approaching... Hold on, let me get to where I can... There we go. Uh, as y'all are approaching the city, uh, you know, there, there are town lights or uh, building lights on, so it's not completely pitch black. Uh, but you notice kind of a little bit... Uh, the, the horizon has changed. Uh, and as you are approaching, you uh, notice... But Kind of yeah. uh, where the tournament grounds were, uh, a little bit uh, west of the tournament grounds, you recognize the shape of the titan that y'all uh, took the the shard out of, or the the stone out of orb out of uh, those those many days ago. Uh, it looks like it is just standing up uh, on land. Uh, does anyone want to give me perception checks? Uh, yeah, is it moving? It is not moving. You can tell that, uh, Justin. You, uh, that uh, image of the Titan was actually just a little floaty in your eye, and it goes away as you like try to hunt it down and look at it. Um, okay. Yeah, Billy, you just see the outline of it. Uh, Olivia, oh. uh, you notice that it looks like there are wooden. Oh. There's like wooden scaffolding all around it. Oh, that's uh, unusual. But it doesn't look like there's anyone on it right now. Hmm. Hey guys, are you seeing this? Uh, yeah. Hey, is uh, that the thing yes. that you guys were talking about? Uh, uh, there's uh some scaffolding built around it this time, though. I am blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're still searching for that eye floaty uh, that was lost to you. Oh yeah, I guess I can't really see it that well. I can see um, it clear as day. Uh, Willa and Ignatius are the only ones that are able to see the scaffolding. Uh, 
Studebaker and Billy, they're able to see the outline of it, but not really any details around it. Uh, it looks like there is a little bit of light coming from the um, estate grounds as well. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, geez. I just remembered. Oh, man. I had I had that guy fill up my boat with all of my supplies. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. I I gotta go see about that. Okay. Um. So where where would everyone like to land? I guess uh technically, um Thorntooth is the pilot, so he can land wherever he chooses. But if anyone yeah, wants I guess... to stay. I, well, choice. I'm just going to, since I don't see this gigantic thing, I'm just going <laughs> to set course for the uh, estate. Okay. Uh, so you'll land outside of the estate. Uh, the estate, while it's it's lit up, uh, it's pretty quiet. Actually, we'll go ahead and move to the estate grounds. Boop. 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 Uh, so it's pretty quiet in the estate grounds. Oh, let's go with you. And... Oh, I'm still on the ship. So everyone's uh, kind of coming up on the estate grounds, hmm. and uh, yeah, all, all is quiet. Uh, look, you see some guards uh, patrolling, and as y'all are getting closer, they notice you, uh, but they they let you through. Uh, you've you've been through enough times now that the guards have actually recognized you and know who you are. Cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna go into the uh, chambers. Okay. Uh, so you see, uh, Sarunan is actually up in the. Um, you know, throne chambers, he's kind of pacing back and forth, though. Uh, he looks a little... Uh, well, uh, if you want to give me a perception check, Thorntooth, if you're the first one uh, going up to him. Hey! Yeah. Ooh, he nice. looks a little restless. It, it looks like he hasn't slept in quite a while. Um, and he, he's got a sense of stress on him. Uh, he sees you come up and he stops. Uh, and turns towards you and goes, Oh, Thorntooth! How are you, my friend? Uh, I'm pretty good, man. It's, uh, we, we're back with... Uh... We went to the library. How, how, how was the library? Uh, did it was you, did you learn anything? Did you learn anything important? I don't remember. Uh, he, did I? He's actually, yeah, he, he is like if you you have a better look at him now. Like his eyes are a little bloodshot. Uh, this he's he's not uh, in a good state. Uh, like, I won't say a good mental state, but not a good physical state. It looks even um, even with him being you know elf and they don't really need sleep. It, He's gone quite a while without sleep it's starting to physically affect him. Okay. Uh, do you do you remember? Oh yeah, they, we learned about the four, right? There's four other ones. The five, the four other ones, five. Uh, but five in total. Uh, yeah. And you learned that uh, you know each were a different color, and each was also associated with a different emotion. Uh, okay. The red one that you encountered was rage. The uh, blue one was uh, like law and order and like stability. Um. Oh, I guess not as much emotions as like, you know, physical phenomenon. Um, white one's life, black one is death. You have not seen that one yet, and uh, green is envy. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna relay all that to him. Cool. Um, so he 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 looks kind of uh, around. He he's kind of processing it, but processing slowly. Um, excuse me, I haven't I haven't really slept uh, much much in 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 days. Um, yeah, are you all right, dude? Oh, just pressures uh lot, lots of change going on and uh, then we you know we dug up the the thing you probably saw it i did not i am partially blind at the moment oh in case of the eye floaties uh he kind of uh reaches out to grab a face to like look at like look at you uh and he you see his hands go next to your head uh, and he okay. kind of pulls back and he blinks a couple times um the rest of the party comes in as uh, as Thorntooth is up there discussing with Runin, and you see Runin look like he's going to grab for Thorntooth's face, but miss and kind of blinks and like looks around a little bit. Wow, Runin, you look like shit, my friend. Yeah, are you okay? <laughs> How you're? Uh, who cares? Um, yeah, just haven't really slept a whole lot. Um, yes. So, uh, fill you in uh, after. Y'all left. Um, sorry. Uh, after you left, uh, the we we had a, a scavenging team go down, pull up the the Titan, and uh, 
we started researching it the the metal it that it's made of is fascinating um what they they call it um hey hey man you need you need a nap it looks like no no everything's fine um I'm okay. I've got a got a study to run through through all this. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, metal very very fascinating. It's it's super light. Um, it's it's almost like like mithril metal, but gold. But it's not as heavy as gold. Uh, uh, anyways, we started uh, trying to dismantle it to see what we can do with all that material. And fascinating stuff, and I haven't really made much headway. It took a long time. A lot of a uh, lot of resources to get it up, but. Uh, you know, city's changing. Uh, uh, you're right. Yeah, I, I, I might need a, a little nap. Um, please, if you if you have anything you need to do in the city, um, come back and I get four hours. Four hours, and uh, you better make it eight. Ah, uh, no, no, I'm a. <laughs> Look at you, dude. You look like you're from South Florida. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave. Oh, there he is. Um, <laughs> yeah. Woo! Internet crashed. Cool. Um, so yeah. Good so he, he he's saying he's he's a proud of. He doesn't need uh, eight hours of sleep. Um, yeah. So y'all y'all have about uh, four hours. Um, he told you to come back in about four hours, um, and you're you're free to to kind of wander the city. There's not a whole lot going on right now, uh, with it kind of being about you know, midnight uh, right now. Um, so there's not too much liveliness going on in the city right now. Can I go to the uh, giant thingamajig construct? Not construct, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, you can go there. Okay. I want to go and tell That's the right. guy to move my stuff from my boat to the ship. Okay. Uh, he so you go back to the go up to the man that uh, was gathering your things for you. He's right outside uh, where the kind of the personal docks of excuse me the estate are. Yeah. Give him orders. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Cool. Isn't your uh, boat like a whaler? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that we ever specified what kind of boat it was, actually. Well, if it was that, a tight fit uh, for six, for five of us, you could probably have the boat put on the ship. Man, oh, just put the whole thing. That's a good idea. Uh, Let's do that. Now this, yeah, this isn't uh, that is a, a waterborne vessel only. Like it, it can't fly, uh, so you wouldn't be able to have like a small little well, life raft. Yeah, but we could rig it. Yeah, we could rig it to the <laughs> bottom, right? Dude, we can make the ship yeah. like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and just like <laughs> and and put it all together so that it's a ship and a plane. All right. I'll uh I'll make a little uh a little ship to put next to the the map of the big ship. <laughs> uh they'll have strapped now underneath. Yeah, so dude. The below the below below deck. Um, yeah, that's the that's the get the hell out of here uh, button. <laughs> we end up in the water an awful lot for people that fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right. Uh, so, uh, 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 oh, I had a frog in my throat. throat there, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sick <laughs> of the water too. Does my does my voice sound better now, though? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sounds yeah, that's great. It's like okay, ten times good. better. Okay, good. I'm sorry. I had some of the water from our last adventure stuck in my throat, so now I'm better. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, what's everyone else wanting to do in the city while uh, while everything? We're kind of waiting on Runa to get his nap. I need to yeah, go to a hatter, hatter, preferably a bad hatter. Uh, so there's uh, you. You ask around there. Uh, there is the hatter that Tan you went to Tantor. You know of him. Uh, he's not mad though. He's just a uh, you know. He's he's kind of a little bit of a con man. You know. He he pushes a hard bargain. Nothing really mad about him though. No, I have no money on my sheet still. I believe you had said that we had money. Where'd the big monster go? It's still there. Uh, it, yeah, it's still there. Oh oh, I see it now. Yeah, it's up there. Um. Yeah, y'all have got a, a sizable amount of money. I, you're not going to put the bank by getting a hat. All right, just make it. it, it I have very specific uh, 
needs for that. So, mm. uh, so uh, you walk up to the the Hatter. Uh, and he's, oh, hi, yes, I remember you. You're Villy. You were with the uh, that magnificent elephant man. Greetings, sir. He doffs his hat and shows him his tattoo. And says, oh, that I would not expect one of those from uh, from a man such as you. Well, this is a religious matter. You see, our God, the flying wheelie unicorn, uh, by revealing it, I am now in the position of being required to proselytize for the great Lord wheelie unicorn, even though the great Lord does not recognize us um, and grants us no powers. But now that I will be proselytizing, I need a specific sort of hat. It needs to be multicolored. It needs to have 13 peaks, each ending with a glass ball. Can you handle that? Oh, so, so you just need a jester hat. Oh, I think oh, I've right. got one of those for you. Um, now, you, you said it needs 13 baubles. Oh, I've never seen a jester hat that has has that many baubles, but that would be something that I would be delighted to make you. Now, it's the third friend of points hmm? of the flying wheelie unicorn. It's 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 deep religious. I don't. I won't. Uh, I won't trouble you with uh, reading you the scriptures, the scriptures or the scriptures, because uh, <laughs> they're thirteen hundred pages long, and I'd like to get my hat sometime before I grow old. So now, uh, what you, you said that it's the uh, the unicorn is on wheels. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, what, so would you like the baubles to be wheels? No, no. Oh. You stifle my creativity, but they uh, represent you're... thirteen stars. So they um, need to be stars. No, they need to be we balls because that's what they look like from Earth. I mean, stars don't look like stars, strictly speaking. They're dots. Blowing this man's mind. Uh... <laughs> So, yeah, I, I'll get you your I'll, I'll get you uh, your thirteen stars uh, on on the you know on your on your jester hat. It it might take me a couple hours. I basically have to you know splice together a couple of them. I got I got jester hats by the wazoo. You know when the tournament comes around, that's one of our my sellers most popular sure. things. You know everyone's sure. going around with blah, 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 the the bobbles. Um So yeah, if you give me a couple hours, go ahead and uh, get everything kind of spliced together, ready for you, good to go. What do you say? Thank you. And it's a priest hat, not a jester hat. Oof. My apologies, of course. Yeah, of course it's a priest hat. Yeah. It's a clear yes, sir, Mr. Uh, Mr. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, You're pay. welcome. You're... Yeah, yeah. Pay, pay once it's done. But the right, way uh... things are going, we might all be dead by the time it's done. Let Take the money now. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll I'll take your money if right now if you insisted. You know, it's if of course it's what you say, Billy. Uh, so he, uh, it's you know for basically he doesn't really need a whole lot of materials. It's just kind of the craft work of it. Uh, he'll charge you fifteen uh, silver pieces for it. I give him twenty. Okay. Uh, up next. Uh, so yeah, we got Willa, Ignatius, and Thorntooth. What do y'all want to do? I just want to go down to see what. What's going on at, with the doing with the giant mech? <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna follow Thorntooth. Hey, Thorntooth, buddy, yeah. I want to see what's going on with that thing too. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm yeah. Well, Get everyone on over here. I will join you. Okay, so everyone's packed in. Uh, Studebaker, are you packing in with everyone too, or are you just over uh, your uh, your packing? I'll just tell them what to do and pay them whatever they want, and then I'll just go along with the party. Yeah, so everyone's moving towards the... On our path to get there, are we walking past the uh, previous bakery? Yes, you will You will be walking past the previous bakery. The ruins of the previous <laughs> bakery? Yes. I was going to ask how the repairs looked. Uh, they look good. Uh, there's, there's a... F I mean, it's not a bakery anymore, uh, but there's a full building there. What's the what is there a sign for it yet? Uh, there's no sign for it yet, but you, from the smells coming out of it, uh, it smells like a butcher. 
Ah, I remember them when this. I'm a uh, I'm a hipster for this town. I remember when this was a bakery and this was the nice part of town. <laughs> Gee, geez. Uh, someone passing by hears you goes, "Yeah, that was like three days ago, or no, like, uh, like three months ago." I know it was way better, right? For Iggy, that's a long time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the man made good pastries. That day underwater was like a lifetime for me. I feel like a long time has passed since we were here last. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, and move on to the to the statue. Yes. Uh, so, uh, as y'all move on uh, to the to the statue, it, I mean, it's getting bigger. The the thing looks like it's, um, yep, it's it actually it seems even bigger now. That, you know, it looming over you instead of y'all kind of swimming around it. Uh, and you're able to as you're going around, uh, you can see a little crack uh, in the left tube uh, where y'all shattered it and all the kind of radiation came out of it. Uh, the right tube itself looks intact, but uh, there's no liquid in it anymore. It looks like it's completely been drained out. Uh, there's a bunch of scaffolding around it. And, um, Vili, as, uh, as you're getting close to it, give me an Arcana check. Okay, also, uh, my perception check, I probably walked into the bay. But, uh,. <laughs> Uh, wow. I also was going to see if Studebaker, now that he's actually seen it, does this refresh any kind of memory of anything that his master would have told him? So it's not refreshing anything um, that you don't already know and pulled from your own memory. You've just never seen it before. You've heard like him talk about it uh, and your master, you know, detail it. But he, he, you know, you never saw pictures of it or anything like that. You didn't imagine it would be this massive and also have spider legs. Uh, yeah, so I'm immediately going to uh, stare at it, uh, completely bewildered. And then I'm going to go and start making shoes for it. <laughs> okay, that's going to take a lot of material for that. <laughs> yeah, do you, do you have that? The whole town supply of leather. <laughs> do you have that much leather? Uh, uh, is, is there on? is there a leathery around here? <laughs> yeah, a, a tannery. The yeah, butcher what's... shop probably has some skin for you. Yeah, what's in the yeah. shopping center right here? Where there isn't like a oh. Publix, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. It's just it's a medieval shopping no. center where we are right here. What's what's is it? There's got to the be a leather land of Florida. Joanne's <laughs> uh, This this is a lot of the. Uh, barracks and dormitories for uh, city workers so uh, a lot of people that have now been uh, reconstituted as construction workers working on this and dismantling things uh you, you oh construction workers of... you say yeah well at the, the at the minimum of... i'm going to start dra drawing up the plans okay um you hear the sound of it sounds like blacksmiths uh working e even late in the uh this late in the night um, you assume they're probably doing something to dismantle and work with the metal that they're pulling off of this thing. You also do see that they're, they've made a little bit of headway. There's not a whole lot of metal pulled off of it, but uh, it looks like there's there's crude bits carved out of it. Uh, they haven't got like a solid plate off of it yet. Uh, Vili, as you're going forward, uh, you kind of get a... Uh, you, you, you feel a hum uh, in the air as you're getting closer to the... Um, to the stat or to the uh, Titan, and as you as you get mm, maybe within about a hundred feet of it, uh, you go to step forward, but you realize that you're about to walk into uh, a ward. You're not really sure uh, what the ward is, but there seems to be a ward around, like around this area. Hmm. Uh, guys, there's some sort of uh, magic at work here. Some sort of a magical field around this thing. Uh, uh, magic. I think, yeah. Right now, Thorntooth is the only one that's right. Uh, Studebaker, you were not uh, close enough to hear that. You're about, like, uh, or yeah. were you going to find like a blacksmith or some or a construction worker to get yeah. a blueprint set up? Yeah. So I'm okay. yeah I'm just yeah, like so wandering around. Uh, Ignatius, what are you doing? 
Uh, I am going through my brain trying to remember if I have any spells that can take down wards. <laughs> okay. Start with a detox of magic. Uh, I don't problem. think I have that spell prepared. <laughs> you don't have well, a detect magic. Oh, you I mean, you already know the magic there. Uh, you're just not really sure what the, the ward itself is. Um, well, the detect would give him the type. Yeah. Well, it'd give him the type of spell, not like what this specific ward is. Oh, hey. But it's just, it's it's just essentially a cage that's keeping us away from the big scary robot. Uh, it you're not sure if it goes all the way around. Uh, but you are sure that on the street in front of it, that's going up to it. Uh, there is a from one end to the other. There is a ward uh, in front of. It. Is there anyone walking that. around in like a orange vest? Uh, give me a perception check, and what do we got, Billy? Yeah, can we ask somebody what's going on with this? Let's I just see. am doing that as a ritual spell, by the way. Okay. Didn't even realize uh, I had them. All right, Olivia got it. All right, so Olivia and uh, so Olivia and uh, or Willa and Ignatius, you will see in you know, in the you know, center of the encampment here, while the construction and and uh, city workers are. It looks like there is a couple tents that are uh, lit up from the inside, so it seems like some people are still awake. Hmm. Uh, uh, as you pass by, you, think, uh, you catch up with Studebaker. Studebaker looks like they're wa uh, he is walking towards that area as well. Is there anybody so, who uh, is working on the big metal doohickey? So, uh, with that, you, uh, in the tent that is uh, to your northwest, Ignatius. Uh, you uh, hear rustling from inside. And, kind of, uh, and a man uh, pokes his head out. He's got a, a, a hat on. Uh, well, hard. Uh, it's a yellow um, half plate ha uh, helm. Yellow helmet. Yep. And he pops up. Yep. Uh, hi, friend. How you doing? Uh, my name is Ignatius Blood Dust, and uh, I was I was wondering if you knew anything about this uh, gigantic, horrifying uh, metal beast, other than the obvious. It's here on land, and all that. It kind of stretches a little bit, holds up uh, finger, and pulls. And so he's oh, he's, up, he's only in his pants. Um, and he reaches in his pants pockets and pulls out what looks like a rolled up leaf. Uh, and he s snaps his finger a little bit and a, tor a little flame appears at his fingertip and he puts it in his mouth and lights it. And, and he blows it out. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Prince gave the order. To, well, I guess King now. Oh, no, not really. Things have been changing so much recently. It's hard for man, you know, you know just every day, man, to, to keep up with things. I just do what I'm told. Uh, he said to bring this whole thing up. We did an excavation to bring it up, and now we're kind of trying to dismantle it. That's all I know. Thing seems like a, a lot of resources in there. I'm kind of excited to get it down. No, it's very interesting. I understand. How long ago did you guys receive the order to bring this thing up from underneath the water? Uh... About a week ago. Hmm. That that's an interesting amount of time. Uh, what's up with the uh, the Inviso Wall? Is that to make sure that none of the uh, random townsfolk get too close and have any big scary Titan magic cast upon them from the giant beast? Oh yeah, I mean the the thing's dormant, but uh, yeah, we uh, we had one of the. Fancy uh, elf wizards put up a ward, set off an alarm when uh, when and, you know, pushes people back when anyone tries to uh, tries to go past. We set it up in the middle of the night so we can all you know catch some shut eye without having to actually watch for anyone wandering up trying to find what that thing is. It's dormant, but uh, you know people climb things, fall, break something. We uh, he points to a little plaque uh, next to him that has a bunch of numbers uh, that then scratched out and another number written and at the top you say S days since last accident. Um, yeah, we had to we had to keep that uh, as high as possible. So that's uh that's very interesting. I appreciate it, my friend. You've been very helpful. Uh, yeah. This this is my ward. 
Her name is uh, Willow. It's a secret name. And uh, uh, if she had any questions for you, I would appreciate if you answered them too, uh, unless it would be untoward to ask you anything else. But she's currently learning more about the city. As she, as you can see, she's much younger than I. Yeah. Uh, um, out of curiosity, if I wanted to purchase any of the things or look through them, you know, just to get a good idea of, you know, if there's anything cool or valuable, where should I go to find the pieces that are being dismantled? Well, uh, per the uh, royalty's orders, uh, we send it back you know, up to the estate. Not a whole lot that we've taken off yet. I don't know if they know where they're taking it, but we just give it to them. Oh, and how, oh. And how often do you take stuff up there? Uh, oh my god, how did a turtle sneak up on me? <laughs> <laughs> Very Usually slow. we, uh, we, 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 you know, take our day trip, uh, once we're, well, you know, once we're done, taking pieces off, it's slow work, but, you know, pays the bills. Well, that might be dangerous. I would imagine that those trips are, are, uh, patrolled with guards of some sort. Yes. Okay, good. Just checking. <laughs> Are we trying to steal some pieces off this thing, or <laughs> I don't. I wait. Hold on. Excuse us, guard. We're gonna talk over here for a second. I don't know what the hell we're trying to do, but I'm just asking questions about this thing, and then I let you guys go. Okay, sorry about that, friend. Hey, yeah, Ethan. I'll, I'll be... Um. Yeah. Uh, I just um. I, I also, what should I roll to determine how much leather that I'll need to make shoes for this thing? <laughs> oh, God, oh, that's God. so much. Make I, him canvas shoes. 16 cows. Oh, that's going to be a lot more. Um, well, oh, let's see. Let's actually do real world. Yeah. Make him some giant crocs. While you're doing that, can I climb on top of the thing to investigate it? Uh, you would need to get past the ward. Uh, and as you, so, uh, are you trying to? <laughs> go Justin, I know you're trying okay. to do something important, but I'm trying to build know. shoes for a robot here. So <laughs> that's my stealth. All right, so you uh, very sneakily walk past Billy. While Billy's checking out the ward, she doesn't even notice you as you're walking by. Uh, you get close to the wards, you don't feel a thing. Uh, and then suddenly you you hit a wall, and uh, a screeching alarm goes off. Uh, and then also give me a, <laughs> uh, a dexterity save. I was oh, thinking save. that a save. Hang on one second, sorry. A stealth oh, roll wasn't going to help him with a magic ward. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know that. I'm dumb as shit. <laughs> yeah, Thorntooth just hears obstacle and he's like, I'll sneak past it. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't try to switch clothes with it. <laughs> so you... Uh, so after the screech uh, happens, you feel a force pick you up and throw you 30 feet back. Huh. Uh, and you'll take ten points of uh, bludgeoning damage as you as you slam into the ground and skid uh, about two more feet. How you said uh, ten? Yeah, ten points of damage. <laughs> Did we <laughs> land hard enough? Yeah. Electrified fence. Do uh, yeah, it's like getting thrown by an electric fence. Um, so, Billy, you hear that happen and then see Thorn Tooth go flying through the air. Uh, Studebaker, Willa, and Ignatius. Uh, you hear a loud screeching alarm go off, and then oh. the um, you know the man that you were talking to runs inside his tent, pulls up, uh, you know, comes out with his shirt and everything, and uh, he starts running towards the Titan as well as uh, ten other people come out of tents and start running towards them as well. Uh, some of them they look like they have uh, not uh, they they've got like little clubs uh, in their hands as they're running. Oh, uh, boy. Towards the Titan. Why did uh, I Billy, have to tell that guy he was our friend? <laughs> Billy, you, uh, as you look and see Thorntooth go flying back, you see 11 men running around the corner uh, towards you, uh, where, where the, you know, towards the Titan. 
Uh, they look like uh, about six of them have little clubs in their hand. So is it safe to say uh, that they've vacated the area and it's just empty now? Not completely empty. Uh, it looked, I mean, from the amount of tents and you know, buildings that are here, there's, there's more than 11 people that are residing here. Uh, but they, all the people that look like they came out of the little temporary shelters, the tents uh, that are in the center of this compound, all of them are gone. Is it safe to say that the guy that we were talking to was the foreman? Yes. Okay, because I want to look around and see if I can find some information, more information about what what's going on around here. Okay. Uh, Billy, you're running away? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What, what, and where are you running? Okay. So you're gonna try to go like. So they're coming from this way. Are you gonna like try to yeah, run through the? the... Go that way. Okay. They're running around the other way. All right. Uh, Thorin, you get up uh, and look, and you you hear the sound of eleven foot uh, footsteps running towards you. Uh, okay. Uh, Studebaker, if you want to give me a um, uh, investigation check. Um, I want to find out a way to get my hands on that radioactive material. Uh, none of the material is radioactive anymore. All the radioactivity Aww. and stuff, that's, that's uh, yeah, that's all dissipated. Dude, I am oh. Sherlock <laughs> Holmes. Yeah, we uh, uh, killed a lot of shred that journal. So, uh, Studio uh, you pop into the foreman's tent. It uh, looks very sparse. Uh, he, you see blueprints of what looks to be future projects, uh, a little bedroll in the corner, and one um, it looks like a small workbench uh, in in the on the back side of the room. Uh, the workbench you see, you know, it's got tools on it, and then you're looking through the drawers, and you find. Uh, one of the drawers, it looks like a, just a note of orders detailing out, um, you know, what to do with the the Titan. Uh, you're looking through and you see all the plans and ideas they had um, to get the Titan up. They had a couple failed uh, expeditions. They lost about uh, 17 men uh, to the sea while they were trying to get it up uh, with, you know, what they were using to get pressurized to get everyone down there kind of failing and uh, people dying down there that actually looked like it was scrunched away somewhere and uh, then you are uh, you also find a note detailing out uh, where to bring the material okay um, also do I would I happen to find any kind of schedule that shows um, what's it called um, do I find any, any kind of paperwork that details the schedule as to when they transfer the, uh, resources, resources? resources. You, you don't find any, set, yeah, you don't find any set schedule. Uh, you do find where they kept a log of, you know, the amounts and when they were taken. It looks, at first it looks random, but it lo looks to be around the time of what would be the equivalent of three or four o'clock, uh, you know, average you know some are at one some are at kind of five it, they're kind of all over the place in that uh, kind of range it seems like they take it as soon as they're kind of loaded up with what they're you know getting through with the day it's not really a set hey be here at this time okay um so it's so just confirming this is not the first time that they've attempted to pull this thing up no uh this is the time they successfully all the way out. Uh, they How? Had what's the oldest hours. dated? What's the oldest dated request or attempt that I can find? Uh, so the oldest dated attempt you could find uh, is the day after um, y'all left, and it looks like they tried every day. They tried a different ex uh, expedition. On the third day, they got it. Uh, they got it up, and then they started dismantling it. There's only been. Um, you know, three days that they've had of dismantling everything. Okay. So Cause I'm just making that sure that this was not something that they were trying to pull up before we actually encountered it. No. 
so it's it, you you could surmise that the day that they got the order to pull it all up was the day y'all left and then the next day they started their expeditions to pull it up okay cool well then that's all the information that i really cared about also want to try and figure out the leather resources needed to make shoes but we can move back on to more important things like the happenings at the giant robot uh so so you you yeah you you hop up and there look to be 11 men running at you okay i'm gonna uh, say now they're they're about 40 feet away i'm just gonna yell out to him 45 seconds that's how long it took you to get here what kind of defense is this security <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at my my wrist, like. Uh, ro- <laughs> Look at these freckles. What took you so long? The the man in front with the shiny yellow uh, half steel helmet um, stops, and he looks very like confused. So, so are you okay? I'm fine. Are you okay? Your security forces are lacking, sir. Well, uh, excuse us. Uh, the security force seems to be all right. As he's like looking at the uh, the like three foot uh, gash that's in the ground of your body going uh, through the dirt. <laughs> uh, we're we're just coming to see if everything's okay. Yeah. What if I was? We a were robber? all kind of sleeping. Uh, well, if you're a robber, you wouldn't be able to get to it, as you can see. Are you a robber? No. Well, I'll be on my way now. <laughs> uh, give, me, give me just a charisma check. This will be bad. Oh, no. dude. See, this is why you need to be a bard, Justin. <laughs> yeah. Now, hold, all right, hold up. Hold up some. What What are you doing here? Yeah, the... Prince's orders. I actually am the one that helped kill this thing. Uh, this is your uncandid camera. <laughs> <laughs> but really, yeah, we killed this thing. We went to the library. I, I just really want to know what's going on inside. Uh, uh, th- th- you didn't find any bits of elephant in there, did you? Uh, no, no, no bits of elephant. Um, okay. Or a lady. He, he or kinda... a lady. Well, uh, we didn't find the. Well, there's no bit lady left in there. Um, hmm. There, there were some parts uh, down there. We're not really sure if it was a lady. It didn't really look like an elephant, but uh, those got cleared out when we were pulling it up. You know, we can't uh, really what... send the the masses to a terror by pulling a body out of a, a you know giant machine. That's okay. true. What did you do with these parts? Well, they uh, we pulled it out at the bottom of the ocean, so I assume they're they're still at the bottom of the ocean. Right. Yeah, you know, that was that was a part of the uh part of the job. It's still get the tighten up, not body parts. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, um, I don't know. I guess that's all I got for you. Oh, okay. So, are we good? We're good here. <laughs> you kind of. Yeah, go go on, son. Don't try to get up there anymore. All right. All right. It'll hurt yourself. Just gotta go back. All right. So, Studebaker, as you're uh, investigating, uh, give me a perception check. Ba ba ba. And then, yeah, uh, Ignatius and Willow, you give me a perception as well. Oh, oh that's right. I was gonna say I did say that I was standing outside uh, watching guard for him. I don't know if I was heard when I said that earlier. Yeah. I heard. Okay. Uh, I don't sorry. see anything. I'm getting there. I'm on a slower computer than normal tonight. How? Jay and I can kind of see stuff. Hey, I'm sort of. I'm sort of perceptive. Yeah. So you. Uh... You're keep a lookout. Uh, you see the foreman come around the corner, and you kind of give a, a little like shuffle kick uh, at the uh, at the front of the tent. Uh, All right, let's get out of here. You know that uh, the foreman's coming back. Uh, oh, I do that. Oh, I'm sorry that you were talking to me. Yeah, I yeah, know that he's coming back. 
you know he's coming back around the corner. Okay, well then I'm gonna rush to like uh, not look conspicuous. <laughs> so okay. whatever it is, uh, I have to do to like kind of put stuff back and and just kind of like get out of there so that it doesn't appear as if I'm rifling through his shit. Yeah, give me a stealth hey, check. Hey, portal, come back out here so it just looks like we've been waiting for it. What kind of check? I'm sorry. Uh, stealth. Oh, jeez. <laughs> turtles aren't that Perfect stealthy. Turtle. 450 pound turtle. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Luckily, I have a high charisma, so. So, uh, you think you got everything, like you're, uh, you know, ra racing through your memory. You think you put everything back in the right spot. Uh, and you uh, step outside of the tent and. Ignatius, just you're kind of looking around, and as the Ignatius says, the form is coming right around the corner to be in uh, visual range of the tent. You reach around, and pull Studebaker around the corner. Oh, thank uh, luckily you. Before, <laughs> luckily, the foreman, as he was coming around, was taking another drag of his rolled up leaf. Um, and that, with him also being interrupted from his sleep, he's not being very perceptive right now. I just picture him grabbing me by the back of the shell, like a backpack, and just <laughs> yanking me out. That's how it went. Hey, uh, hey, I hope you have a good night's rest, Foreman. What forest do you get your leaves from? Uh, that one. And he, uh, he, he points uh, even farther to the west, as you can see, the miles and miles of trees. Oh, so you just smoke random leaves from trees. That's not anything specific, huh? Nope. Uh, hey, do you guys... Um, <laughs> I, I'm Actually, I'm just, I'm just going to walk away and go and try and find Villy and Thorntooth. Um, and okay. and uh, see so if Willa and Ignatius follow me, because I have some stuff to say. Okay. So uh, Willa, uh, Thorntooth, and Ignatius, y'all all still together. Villy ran off. Uh, you're not really sure where, where Villy is. Uh, but Villy's on this road over here near the bridge. Okay. Uh, Just but, like that. Uh, yeah. Out, out of character, know where you are. Uh, but in character, they, they don't know where you ran off to. Uh, so you can traverse the road out, uh, going out of the compound. Uh, then, you know, there's the road going back to the estate, or there's the road going up to the, um, you know, residential area. I mean, I'm going to follow uh, Studebaker. Okay. Uh, so Studebaker, where you head? Uh, well, I want to find Thorntooth first. Is he with us? I'm right behind you. Yeah, <laughs> he's right there. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, well, it appears as though... There isn't any kind of treachery going on. It looks like they were only trying to pull that thing out of the water after we, after you guys already killed it. Okay. Um, shouldn't we explore it? I tried. Right, but there, there must be another way to get in there, right? I mean, it's their ward, right? Uh, so we find the wizard and kill him. Well, uh, hold on. This is out of character question. Um, sorry, just an out of character question. Um, well, now I forget what it was. So I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jack. <laughs> hey, Thorntooth, we don't have to kill every magic user that casts a spell that inconveniences us. Uh, let's go. I'm going to keep it at your level. We can simply knock them out. Um, oh, right, right. Is that's is the ward? Um, and and you might have said this. I'm I might have missed it. Um, but of course, Studebaker wasn't there. I don't think anyway. Is the ward? Um, was the ward put there by someone else, or was it put there by the city to keep people from messing with it? Uh, it was put there by a wizard that, from the way the foreman was speaking, uh, it seems like it was either they're under the employ of you know the city. Uh, construction team hey, he's an uh, independent contractor it's a real bitch when it comes to your taxes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why just would get permission from the king yeah why would why would why would from me send us down here um to see the thing knowing that it's warded and we can't get in he didn't 
Yeah, he did. I was going to say, I didn't. Y'all told him to go take a nap. Okay, go explore the city for four hours. This is true. Oh, yeah. I guess that makes (laughs) sense. Dang it. And here we were. Yeah, y'all just. I thought I might have missed that when I was switching (laughs) headphones, but I was like, did he tell us to come down here or are we just poking around like the Power Rangers about to get their suits on a construction site? Yeah, basically. Um, Uh, I want to. Better better visuals. do, Do we know where that wizard would be? No. I mean, obviously, hey, somewhere, I mean, somewhere in this area of hey building, guys. but hey. you're you're not sure. Hey, hey, Can why don't we it? just dress up in the workers' uniforms and maybe we can find one of their IDs to get through the ward? Oh my god, that's perfect. I'm just gonna run into the barracks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I mean, if he successfully gets one, we can sneak behind him and also get one. He's basically a living thermometer for how good or bad an idea is. If he gets arrested, the rest of us can just not do the thing that he did and figure something else out. Right, guys? All right. Uh, be- before all this goes to hell, uh, Billy, what are you doing? <laughs> a living thermometer. Drink. Al's on mute. Drink. I was looking around to see if I saw them. Rolled a nine perception. Assumed that I was looking in the wrong direction. Yep. So I would imagine that Billy is like playing with bits of string or something. I don't know what he would do. But he's just bored and doing nothing. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll go ahead and we'll pull everyone else to this. <laughs> well, I mean, I get not- assumed that I didn't see them, so I could rejoin the group, right? Right, yeah, you you did not see them uh, with a with a nine perception. Uh, you, well, you don't see them coming down the road. Okay, uh, do do with that as you will. Do we have like a team flare we could send up to let them know that there's a new plan? <laughs> yeah, I could shut. I could shoot an Eld- Eldritch blast up in the air. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could do like that. A bat symbol, but of a uh, a flying wheelie unicorn. Oh wait a minute! Oh, I think I have. Cool. I think I have a spell. Um. No, I don't. No, not you one don't have that's any spells not one that's all. helping here. Although I can, um, I can do the Eldritch Blast. Yeah, I mean, you you could throw an Eldritch Blast up into the air if you'd like. While Tantor runs into a barracks. Who? <laughs> Tan- Thorn Tooth. Thorn Tooth. Sorry. How Tantor, dare you? Tantor's dead. Tooth. Do I roll an? I just roll an attack for that. Do I just, just roll? Yeah, you can't. Well, yeah, roll a d twenty. You missed yeah. the sky. I'm gonna be impressed. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna <laughs> oh, just. God. I'm gonna just roll it as a charisma check. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? Ba- yeah, basically. Okay, so you don't roll a one. You successfully fire an Eldritch blast up in the sky. Billy, you see yeah. that? Uh, there's uh, an Eldritch blast fire. Th- the, it's a friendly Eldritch uh, Blast. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a heart on it. Um, it explodes in the shape of a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever, all right. So, everyone really else walks over towards the Eldritch Blast, uh, being very cautious. Okay, I'll bring you in in a second, then, Billy. Um, all right. So, everyone else, let me copy Billy. There we go. All right. For everyone else, just to make sure, because it's a roll twenty map. Everyone can see that, yeah? Yep. Yep. Uh, That's weird. Cool. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, this is where you're all at. Uh, Thorntooth runs into one of the tents. Uh, Thorntooth, are you doing it stealthily at all? Are you just charging in? Uh, yeah, I'll do it stealth. Oh, okay, my God. That fire is gigantic. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a bonfire. Yeah. Got to keep the, uh, the demons at bay. Oh, good Lord. It's um, like the Christmas tree fires we used to body. have. So you you run in, and as you're running through the tent, you don't actually run in to anything, but you throw the tent uh, flaps open so loudly that it actually whip crack uh, and wakes <laughs> everyone uh, that's in there up. There are five uh, workers in there. Uh, they are rousing from their sleep. <laughs> oh, this is not where my horse is. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to turn and run out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, uh, wait a minute. I got an idea. Okay, they, uh, as far as you know, go back to sleep. Uh, Billy, you <laughs> show up uh, where everyone else is. You see Thorn Tooth running out of a tent. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's, let's go for to see just how bad it is. Yep, I had a feeling. I probably walk into a tree, may, possibly the fire. Yep. <laughs> uh, not, not quite. It's kind of hard, uh, kind of hard to miss a fire that big. Uh, it is going out in reality, though. But yeah, it's it's a big fire pit. Um, hey, Thorn too. Yeah. yeah. Did we stand I, too close to that guy smoking the leaf? He might have, because he hasn't gotten a perception over nine. Yeah, he he might oh. have. Thorn tooth. How how did the clothes mission go? Well, I'm still wearing the same clothing, so not too great. <laughs> I want I got a nine to disguise myself. <laughs> what are you disguising yourself as? As just like a regular construction kind of guy. A different turtle. Uh, you <laughs> You give me an investigation to try to find some, you know, constructioners pants and outfit uh nines uh, nines across around. the board yeah you're looking we're around and you're in be like an 80 ways also be his answer. <laughs> yeah uh so yeah you you look around you hunt around you don't find any construction worker attire you can you know assume that they're all inside the tents so that they can put their pants on in the morning can i look inside a different tent you could try for Indian chief or policeman. Sure. All right, I'll go. I'll I'll look in this one. Okay, give me a stealth. Uh, what's what's everyone else doing? Hey, all right. Yeah, I guess I could help. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna disguise me as one of the construction people. <laughs> all right. So both y'all. Oh uh, yeah, Willa, give me a stealth. As oh, the Lord. Um. <laughs> Don't you, you you open the flap quieter this time. Okay. Uh, and you look in and you see that there are four uh, workers in here. Uh, they have little, uh, I mean, they're sitting on uh, roll up bedrolls. Uh, well, they're laying, sleeping in rolled up bedrolls. And at the foot of their bedrolls are little, little trunks, like treasure trunks. I'm uh, going to take them. Thank uh, you for gonna... hearing that okay. joke, Ash. And uh, Willa, uh, you glide in like the wind. Uh, you you don't even move the somehow don't even move the flap to get in. Uh, Ignatius, you clunk in <laughs> like just, a car crash. <laughs> you just, just walking like walking around. You're trying to walk into one of the tents. I'm just out. <laughs> I wanted to try to sneak around to the water and see if that's where the spell ended, but I couldn't see the water on the map, so I figured I'd just glance inside someone's tent and see if they weren't there. I mean, you can go around to the like the water line, uh, and you seem it seems like no one hears you. As uh, you get uh, to, you know, you're going to the cliff face uh, where it enters out into the water line. You don't you don't feel the magic emanating past where the you know, cliff goes over the edge. Yeah, I'll uh, pick it, up it, it, did, it did emanate all the way around to the edge of the, the land. Yeah, I'm going to go back like 20, 30 feet from where I know the uh, spell to be and try to chuck a rock to its left. See if it penetrates through. Towards the water? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you pick it up, chuck it. It sails. Uh, sails past and over the uh, edge of the land, and then you don't you don't hear any noise go on. And uh, about hmm, a couple minutes later, you hear a plunk in the in the water. Couple minutes? Oh my god! Oh, yeah, we're really high up. <laughs> yeah, y'all are really high up. I forgot. You also uh, have really good how hearing. Far away, <laughs> how far away is the rest of the party from me? Uh, right now, they're about a hundred feet away. Okay, uh, do I have to sneak back to not wake anybody up? 
Uh, depends on what is going on with them. Uh, go back to them. Okay. Don't worry. If it's falling a couple of minutes, it's going to reach like terminal velocity. <laughs> You're going to hear it. You might hear the so, sonic boom. <laughs> that wakes everyone up, though. Uh, so, uh, throwing two. Yeah. You're going to take one of their trunks? All of them. All of them. Okay. Yeah. So, the what's your <laughs> strength? Uh, a five. 20 overall. Okay. Okay. Give me a, uh, when you have them all piled under your arms, give me a stealth check with disadvantage. Uh, Willa. You could be uh, sorry you, you asked for that. Yeah, that's what the barbarian <laughs> yep. needs. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you tiptoe on dimes. Like, it's, it's, it's like the old uh, Hanna-Barbera cartoons. <laughs> Hannah <laughs> Barbera. <laughs> Hannah Barbera. Hannah like... Barbera was my fourth grade teacher. <laughs> he sounds like me saying resources. <laughs> I always what? thought it was Hannah Barbera anyway. It is my... Hannah Barbera. Oh, I'm lost. It's We're Hannah it's it's Hannah Barbera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Will, Will, you go into that tent and you see there are uh, six men inside there. Mm. Take their uh, trunks. Yeah, I'll, I'll take their trunks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your strength score, Willa? <laughs> Probably not so great. <laughs> hey, Let's when see. when you say, st when you say st uh, trunks, you mean pants? No, no, like... <laughs> where they would no. put all their belongings. Oh. Elephant trunks. Okay. Negative Elephant one trunks. is my strength. I think nine overall. Okay. Uh, oh, that strengths are dump stat, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, yep. you you can barely get one <laughs> okay. uh, trunk. Uh, give me a stealth check with disadvantage to get out of there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, you got a heavy load and you're trying to sneak around. <laughs> Heavy load. Okay. Don't make me come over there. Hey, oh, over there. Around. That's not bad. <laughs> walk around basketball. this corner. Yeah. yeah so you, uh, this time you do, you, like, you do the flap uh, moving them, but your trunk, it's, you're not used to the weight and the width. Uh, that you end up moving the flap a little bit. You pause as it, you know, flaps back, but you don't hear any rustling from the inside. Uh, and you come back and you're coming back to the with the rest of the group as Ignatius is coming. Oh no, um, yeah, Ignatius is coming back. Everyone's no one's uh, awake or anything. I'm just slowly see... dragging it because it's too <laughs> heavy for me to carry. And Thorntooth comes out with uh, two on each arm. Billy <laughs> says, "Excuse me, uh, personal point of uh, whatever they call that stuff. Uh, why are we stealing all their clothes?" Why not? Uh, so that we can be disguised as them. Yeah, we're workers now. Or at least That's I can. That's not going to work for me no matter what. But uh, I don't know. It just seems you could just ask from me for permission. Also, yeah, this is uh, more fun. Hey, you guys, the, uh, the force field thing only goes halfway around the robot. Also... If, uh, if the if the wispy elf lady or any of us light people, not me, wanted to just like swing around the edge of the cliff, we could get up there too. I'm putting some worker clothes on while they're, they're just discussing this. Okay, uh, so the <laughs> yeah, me uh, too. <laughs> the chests, just so you don't know, get y'all don't get confused. Uh, they're locked. Oh, can we pick the locks? Does anyone know how to pick locks? I don't know. Hold is on. anyone proficient in uh, thieves' tools? Yeah, all you have to have is the tools, apparently. I don't think that none of us have. I don't have thieves' tools. No, I have. So. Okay. <laughs> I have well, cobbler's while tools. The, <laughs> while the three stooges are trying to play <laughs> dress up, hey, Billy, do you want to go ask from me if we can look at the robot? Seems like an easier way to go. I mean, you know, 
what can I tell you? you know, call me weird. Don't actually call me weird. Uh, uh, you're, you're not too weird because I also want to go the logical path. Let's go back. Oh, it's you're heading back to the, <laughs> the Titan? Act first, ask permission later. Oh. I'm dressing up as the construction worker. <laughs> I believe the uh, proper uh, phrase is it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. Any diehard movie will tell you that. <laughs> Having said that, I don't want to get like in a fight over something that we're definitely allowed to look at, so I'm going to go ask Rummy if we can look at it. Okay. Uh, so y'all have been uh, spending quite a considerable amount of time walking to the Titan and you know, yeah. walking around here uh, trying to figure something, what's going on with the Titan. Uh, so y'all are seeing that like daybreak is starting to come. So it's been about four hours already since you left from from Frummy's estate. Um, so who's who's going back now? Not me. I'm, I'm <laughs> dressing up like a construction I'm... worker. <laughs> yeah. I still want to open this chest. Uh, Billy and Iggy. Yeah, the short people. Okay. All right, so y'all start. Uh, y'all start heading back. So you know what they say about short people. Yeah, we live longer. <laughs> so Willa, Studebaker, <laughs> and Thorntooth, you're trying to uh, open up the chat. So I have another well, motivation for this as well. I, I kind of have always wanted a construction worker's uniform as a disguise because you can literally go anywhere in a construction uniform. Nobody will question you. That's uh, true. Are That's a great idea. Around here to open up the chests. Well, can I sneak back into the tent and see if I can find keys? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, give me another stealth check. Okay. Uh, this time, do it with advantage since you've kind of you, you've done this a couple times before. Wait, uh, Ethan, you said, are we staying around here? Yes, yeah, so you're sticking around this camp while uh, daybreak's about to, to come while you try well, to unlock no, those. I was, I was dragging the chest away somewhere. Somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So at, out of the encampment. All right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll put you in the trees over here. Thorntooth is the bardiest. He's the bardiest bar by now. <laughs> He's a barbarian. Yeah, bro. Studebaker likes that. Yeah. Studebaker likes so, Thorntooth's the cut of Thorntooth's <laughs> jib. Uh, you open up the the flaps and give me an investigation check. All right. To search around and try to find the keys. I'm gonna be the lookout. What? <laughs> I'm going to go a different route and try to, like, uh, let's try to melt the lock off. Can I do that? Let's see. You... <laughs> She's going to set the forest on fire. <laughs> <laughs> <Do> you... <laughs> All right, let's look at Produce Flame. Oh, that seems like a pretty accurate cast. <laughs> uh, so, Thorntooth, you're looking around. Uh, you don't see any, any keys out in the open. There's going to be one for each chest. But you do remember that any valuables that you have, uh, you kind of you, you know that a pillow is a nice place to put it under. Uh, okay. And you kind of look around. You can you can tell like through your searching that it looks like there's a spot right where the pillow opening is that looks like it's been disturbed by a hand uh, going in there before they laid down to sleep. So you're pretty sure the keys are somewhere in the pillows. Cool. Can I? I'm gonna reach in there and grab it. Okay, give slide me a sleight of hand. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, you you uppercut the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to ready an action to judo chop him back to sleep. He tears the pillow in half. <laughs> Feathers flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah, just read and produce flame. Uh... Willa produces a 40 foot circle of flame immediately <laughs> around herself. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah roll so roll your damage okay uh th throwing tooth slide ahead okay five that's not enough to melt through How? the lock it's a tiny little lock isn't it <laughs> it's it's also like an iron lock <laughs> five points of damage is not going to melt through it uh but you, you do heat it up a little bit can though. i hit it with something afterward uh you 
if you look around them, I mean, there's rocks and yeah. logs you can try I'm to determined. hit them with. I'm determined, yes. Okay. <laughs> it was everything. Uh, give me a, uh, so you're hitting it with the rock? Mm-hmm. Uh, give me a d6 roll. Okay, so you uh, hit it with the rock. It makes a loud uh, chink. Uh, and you pull it back and you see you you took a little uh, chink off of the off of the lock itself. Uh, but it's not quite there. You can try again, uh, but that that noise was pretty loud to you and it sends it sent a sent a little sparks around. Uh, you kind of singed the trunk a little bit. Uh, hmm. thorn tooth uh, split of ten. Uh oh. Uh, the guy whose pillow you're reaching into turns over. And you see his eyes kind of starting to flutter. Okay. Uh, um, can I just grab and run? You, yeah, you, you, as you're <laughs> reaching your hand, so you still get your hand in under there, uh, and you feel on your right, like on your right pinky, uh, feels like it's touching something cold and metal. Okay. Yeah, I'll just grab whatever that is. And then run? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you grab that and run. Uh, it's not going to be keys, is it? <laughs> sharp end of a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, give me a, a, a dexterity save to, like, for how quick you get it out. Um, right, so you pull out. And it's so quick that the, the man's head just kind of relaxes on the pillow. Uh, it looks like his eyes flutter open a little bit. Uh, if you want, you can give me another uh, stealth check with advantage this time because he's waking up. We'll see. <laughs> also, thank you to Ash for the five dollar donation. I'm glad that you're enjoying the shenanigans. This is pretty pretty standard for us, I suppose. Uh, yeah. <laughs> at least for me, at least for me and Justin. Uh, so, <laughs> as his eyes flutter open, you you uh, you you're not making it out of time before he gets his eyes opened. Uh, but you take a look and you realize you lucked out uh, and you t took the, the key from the only blind uh, construction worker here. Uh, <laughs> he kind of just kind of blankly stares around. It, it, it does sound like his ears perk up a little bit, though. Uh, but you you as like you're backing away with the key in your hand, um, you make it outside the tent. Uh, Willa, are you doing anything else? Um. Uh, well, I, I mean, I can just sneak away if somebody hears me, right? So let's hit it with a rock again. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very good at all. Uh, you break the rock on the lock. Uh, you'll have to grab another uh, another rock. Uh, this uh, it does not look like it did, it did any damage. Uh, Thorntooth, you have... Uh, looks like the sun is cresting the horizon now. You've got one key and four, uh, four trunks. All right, is it a skeleton all. key? Uh, it is not a skeleton key. Uh, so go ahead. All right, you're gonna try one. Uh, pick a number one through four. Two. Uh, you try to shove it, and then that one doesn't work. Um, you hear some rustling from inside the tent. Are oh, you going to stay and try another one? Uh, I'm going to pick up all the trunks and run to the forest. Okay. Uh, in there, you see Willa <laughs> uh, <laughs> grab a rock and beating the, the lock. Uh, what are the one... trunks made out of? Uh, they're made out of uh, banded wood. Oh, I'm just going to punch Apparently through Apparently steel. <laughs> all right, yeah, can so I punch all, through all... the top? Uh, yeah, we'll go there as soon as we get uh, we hear back from the others. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Thorntooth, you ran off into the woods. Yes. Uh, so I'll I'll put you with down here uh, down here with Willa. Uh, Studebaker, yeah, what do you I'll, doing? I'll just go with Thorntooth. <laughs> okay. All right, so both of y'all run. Uh, yeah, both of y'all run and see Willa trying to bash open the lock with a rock. Uh, but it's it's not working very well. Uh, back to everyone else. Boop. So y'all go back to I think for our soundtrack, you need the um, uh, yeah. yeah sax right now. Back to the <laughs> yeah, actual, sure. back to the actual canon. Right, so, uh, Billy and Ignatius, y'all run back to the state, uh, making the time as 
Uh, do you see Sir Runin? Uh, well, yeah, we'll put him. He's actually up on the battlements. It looks like he's having his uh, his morning uh, stim root and uh, in, a, in a cup. Uh, he's, you know, made a little tea, and he's kind of looking over as uh, over the battlements as he sees y'all running up. Oh, what kind of tea is that? Asking for hey, a friend. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ronan. Uh, well, yes. Hello. How was the uh, how was the meditation staring at the wall thing? Uh, very good. Very uh, very therapeutic. Thank you for the the recommendation. Um, so uh, we we should we should debrief. Uh, where where are the other two or other uh, three? Fu- funny story about that. You know how those three are not the most logical of beings? Indeed. Well, for some reason, see, we wanted to look at the giant titan that we defeated at the bottom of the sea. That's an okay request, correct? Correct. Sounds Uh, reasonable. They are currently... Yeah, they are currently trying to figure out a way to sneak through the construction site that is taking care of dismantling the Titan. Uh, We tried to talk them out of that and come just get permission. Hopefully they're not hurting any of your employees. Well, uh, well, that is something I'll also have to talk to you about. Uh, Technically, they're they're not really my employees anymore. Things have changed a whole lot. Um, I'm more of an overseer now. It's really great. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll on those details out later, but it, we should probably go go get them. Make sure uh, that's just more paperwork, really. I can. Hey, Billy, does he? Does that mean he's not in charge anymore? Are you not in charge anymore? I uh, yes and no. Do what? Uh, well, I did the perception to look him over as he says that. And uh, it seems to me that he has been sort of a soft uh, overthrow. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll go with that. You'll we'll, you'll find out. Uh, he, he tells you, you know, yes and no. We'll we'll talk him away. Uh, so if if you want, uh, he, he's he's down for going and making sure no one really royally messes anything up. I don't really have anything else to do unless you just want me to make some more jokes about your name or our friends being idiots. But we should probably go before, uh... Oh, yeah! Thorntooth almost died. Whatever wizard you have, top-notch. That spell they set up (laughs) threw him, like, 30 feet. It was hilarious. Oh, yes, uh... they do good work, especially if it's a high-profile thing. Uh, yes, can, let's continue. Let's uh, let's let's ride. Oh, we must uh, take our horses. It'll be, it'll, it'll be faster. Uh, Billy wants to pick up his hat. Oh, boy, we can we can stop on the way. Uh, so he uh, whistles and summons up some horses uh, for you. And hey, you'll start like mm-hmm. that campaign on Wednesday. You just go, and they show up. It's great. Or Saturday, the the Wild West campaign. Anyway, yes, yes, that's what I did. It's a marvelous thing. It's great. Does that happen elsewhere? And you just whistle, and a, and a horse appears. Uh, y'all are y'all are trotting on the horses now. Is the horse named Uber? Uh, the horse that that horse is not named Uber. That horse is actually named Susan. Ah, <laughs> it's a guy. Whatever happened to Sassafras? What did ever happen to Sassafras? Um, probably dead, right? Because <laughs> because I forgot that Sassafras existed, but it was Sassafras yeah. was on the uh, they were they were tied uh, up the by the bar ship, before the Tropicana, or was it on the I don't bar? Think y'all ever, y'all y'all tied him up to the bar, and then like once everything broke down, y'all ran to the ship to go attack the big thing. Then the ship got blown up. Sassafras never got moved that you know of when y'all passed by the bar uh later Sass- well let's not talk about that <laughs> yeah i would imagine sassafras is uh being served in an ikea somewhere <laughs> oh. 
Uh, anyway, we're trotting back on the horses, and mm -hmm. uh, I assume you don't want to tell this story twice, so I'll let him tell us what's going on when we get back there and stop Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and Tweedledum. I will stop and pick up my hat. I'm going yep. to do that. Right oh, yeah, now. the hat. Uh, yes, yeah, so you'll, you'll stop, and um, the uh, Hatter sees uh, y'all riding up on horses this time with uh, – Sir Runin uh, in, in tow as well. And the the Hatter, look, he goes, oh, uh, and he starts bowing the ghost. Wait. Hello, sir. Um, the old habit and Sir Runin goes, it, it's fine, it's fine, we're all, we're all adjusting. Um, uh, yes, uh, Vili, you said this is the Hatter that has your hat? Indeed. Oh yes, uh, here, here you go, sir. Uh, it took me a while to get it all seamed together, but I hope uh, you know you see the majesty of the seams. They're almost invisible when you you know as they as they curve around. Looks like one solid piece. Some of my best work there, uh, you know, stitching things together. Yep, it looks good. Uh, he casts a minor illusion, and he comes out with his new hat and says, "Have you heard the good news about the wheelie flying uniform cord?" Uh, yes, I have. You told me last time you were here. Great. I'm going to sign you up. Uh, I, uh, Tuesday, you're signing me up for Tuesdays at 10 o'clock, we have our meeting. Oh, flying unicorn, flying unicorn. <laughs> As he walks out of the shop. You, you leave a man very confused and perplexed about what just happened. Uh, so, I, told you I needed a bad hatter. If you can't find <laughs> one, you make one. Right, so y'all continue on uh, riding horses, and we'll get back catchy to catchy song you got there, Billy. Go back to everyone else. I don't know oh, if I really believe. I don't know if I really believe in the religion, but I definitely dig the music. It's like Christmas music. Oh yeah, so, nobody believes in the religion. Believe me, it's you know. The, the flying unicorn doesn't believe in the religion. <laughs> so Studebaker, Thorntooth, and Wilma are in the forest. Um, Thorntooth, you've got four trunks. Uh, Willa, you have one that the lock is heated up on. And uh, Studebaker, as you're looking out, you see that men uh, are coming out of the tents. Uh, they are wrapped in their bedrolls because uh, they have no clothes, and they're looking around. There's a lot of kind of like yelling going on. Uh, some that uh, come out from the tents you didn't go into that do have clothes on, they spot the others, uh, and they start hopping in their bedrolls uh, over towards them. Uh, and there starts a heated debate, uh, looking like it's it's about to uh, going into an all-out brawl. Uh, over the ones with bedrolls accusing the ones with clothes that they stole their trunks so they can have extra provisions, rations, clothes, uh, extra hard hats. Uh, there's a lot of you know, back and forth going on. Uh, and Chief, you said you were going to try to punch the... Yes, I am. Uh, yeah, no metagaming. Me... Punch him. Give me, uh, give me your damage. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pop off an Eldritch Blast at the one that uh, Willow was trying to open. Yeah, let's try to get at least a couple of these things open. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you roll, uh, roll a d6 for damage. Who me or uh, Justin? Then, uh, Chaz, you can roll uh, an uh, d10 for your Eldritch Blast. Okay, so Justin, you punch it. Uh, it makes a, a loud, uh, well, a, more of a thud as you as you hit it. Doesn't look like you did a whole lot of damage. You uh, indented the wood with your knuckles, but the whole trunk is still structurally there. Okay, what if I uh, cough as... each time I hit it to try and disguise this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a disguise check, Studebaker. Uh, you blast the thing one-handed with an Eldritch Blast, and the whole trunk splinters and shatters, uh, the contents being strewn everywhere. <laughs> oh, uh, no. Uh, so four as total. You, four total for, for disguise. Oof. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, totally. Uh, da, 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 da. 
he coughs when he doesn't hit it. It's like boom, uh-huh, boom. Uh-huh. All right. So, Studebaker, yeah, you blast it, and the contents of it go flying uh, everywhere. A what looks like to be a uh, like a money pouch uh, goes up into the trees and is lost. Uh, the hard hat goes flying into another tree branch uh, with enough force that it actually dents it a little bit. And the uh, pair of clothes, which there's only one pair of, and various knickknacks go strewn along the forest floor. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go pick them up and use that as my as my construction disguise that I got a nine on. Of course, I guess I could I would redo it now, yeah? Yes. Now, you're going to need to do this at disadvantage because it it these are small clothes uh and you're a pretty wide turtle uh but i can make myself smaller with uh detect or a uh, disguise self yeah uh, yes yeah you can so if you want to uh if you want to burn that spell then you won't have to uh do it at disadvantage you'll just do it with regular uh <laughs> um, he turns into a human, but then oh, fucks up the disguise i can't i can't change my body type so I must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. Oh, okay, that's fine. Basic arrangement yeah. of limbs, but you can like make yourself, you know, thin, fat, foot shorter, foot shorter. I'll make. I'll be like a, a human-sized turtle. Um. Okay, it, it, and so a I'm just gonna do a charisma check for that. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so you disappear into like you even adopt the the walk uh, of them, and the tired, haggard look uh, uh, on their face. Uh, so, so once if you are sitting there pummeling uh, at, uh, one of the trunks, trying to get them open, uh, you hear uh, footsteps behind you, uh, and Ooh. you see Will in front of you. So. I'm gonna... Okay. There's someone behind you. Uh, okay. Do I? Do Turn I also hear this? Uh, yeah. The, Willie, you see this, but uh, oh. out of character, you know because you saw him change into it. It's Studebaker. Um. So, so if you turn around, there's a construction worker staring down right at you. Oh, excuse me, sir. Hello. Hey, it's me. Uh, I'm afraid we haven't met before. I am Thorntooth, Beersbane. It's Studebaker Peppercorn. I'm Where? In, I'm in disguise. Oh! Man, that looks great. Yeah, it looks good on you. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, so now I can convince them to let me in to the, sh- to the robot. I would believe it if I, you know, you came to me. Okay, so Studebaker, are you going to start making your way back to the camp? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go blend back... in with the construction workers. Uh, the construction <laughs> oh. workers are still arguing uh, about clothing. Uh, so as you're walking up, uh, so you uh, walk up and three men turn towards you and go, Hey! He's he's got clothes too, and they start coming up to you and accosting you about stealing their clothes, uh, <laughs> yelling that you know they they didn't come here uh, to put up with this. Uh, we're all supposed to be men and adults here, not uh, not some kids playing some pranks. Okay, we got some real 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 serious business going on here, and I just want my clothes, man. It's cold out here. That's why we made the fire. Okay, relax. I was just taking a walk. Uh, what what happened? Well, woke up and uh, some people stole clothes. Looks like you got clothes there. Why weren't you targeted? Well, like I said, I was at a walk. What were you guys doing? Sleeping? Yeah. 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 We need our sleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, well you missed, I, I guess you need it more than your clothes. Here, <laughs> need any sleep. Uh, give me uh, give me a diplomacy on that. <laughs> oh, no. It's persuasion. Yeah. Either one. Oh, jeez. I have an eight to persuasion, too. Um, what's your AC? <laughs> um, 17. 
That's not always so, not a fun uh, question. Yeah, the guy in front of you uh, rears back in in his bedroll. Oh well, yeah, he's in his bedroll. He, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, he rears back and in his bed. Uh, well, actually, no, his his arms are kind of tied in the bedroll, so he just kind of leans his head back and headbutts. Oh my god! Uh, you'll take uh, five points of uh, bludgeoning damage, and then, but from him doing that, as he headbutts you. Uh, he all of his weight kind of goes forward. He falls uh, on top of you, uh, and with that, that actually uh, sets off the the charge for everyone else to start uh, fighting. And and kind of a little mini riot among the uh, construction workers has started and uh, broken out. Should I roll initiative? Uh, they're uh, we'll just kind of go free for them if they're so low um, okay because then if that's the case then i want to go into my shell okay so you pop <laughs> you just pop into your shell um and so you're just gonna stay in there the whole time yeah just in my shell like on the ground okay so you <laughs> pop into your shell and you hear the sounds of uh like thudding heads and then muffled uh like uh ab shots as it looks like the you know it's just the sound of people that are fully clothed and the people that are in bed rolls leaping at them to try to spear them uh with a bed sheet or with uh with the bed roll willa and thorn do you see this uh, whole commotion going on looks like everyone's kind of focused on each other right there in the encampment so, so i can make as much noise as i want pounding on these uh chests to get them open <laughs> yeah or uh or go anywhere there. You kind of want the like no you don't need to sneak around anymore okay yeah i'm just gonna keep hitting this thing trying to get into one of them at least oh that sucks nope yeah you gotta keep needing to go willa what do you want to do uh yeah i'm camping out here watching thorn tooth i don't want to be anywhere near all that okay uh so thorn tooth, give me a couple more uh strength checks hey oh, there boy. It is. okay that one you punch all the way through uh, the the trunk and uh, you're able to just then tear the the top off cool. uh, inside okay. you see uh, a coin purse uh, looks like a couple of letters uh, from you know family and one set of construction worker uniform okay I'll throw that to uh, Willa and then I'll keep punching until I get to oh. throw it to another one thanks okay are you gonna do, uh, you you crack another one Sweet, and then I'm gonna don my disguise. Okay, both of you'll give me disguise checks. Um, I don't have that as a skill, so I'll just roll d20 and add charisma, what, right? What if I don't want to put it on? I just want to put it in my inventory. That works too. <laughs> okay. And yeah, uh, don't do you fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen in total. Got okay. uh, you. You uh, don't look as good as uh, Studebaker did on the disguise, uh, but you don't need to try. It's hard, hard to do. That's hard to every, do. Every, yeah, yeah, everything already kind of fit you. Uh, you're just a little uncomfortable in it. You look at the part, but you okay. you don't you don't walk the walk, and you can't talk the talk. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, I'll we'll just go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just, uh, we'll just go... walk out there. Okay, so you walk out, and there's there's a brawl going on. Okay. Yeah, I'll walk right up to it. Uh... Hey. <laughs> as soon as you say hey, you get pulled into the brawl. You're, you're uh, in the, yeah. You're all in right. The uh, so we'll go to uh, our our traveling companions, Vili, Ignatius, and Sarunin. Y'all are coming up to where the encampment is, uh, and you hear and a loud sure ruckus oh, going. That they behave themselves. Like I'm gonna I walk said, over toward. Oh, at the worst, maybe they will have given one guy a black eye or something. I'm sure they didn't incite a. What is that sound? Uh, yeah, so Willa, do you, uh, give me a perception check to see if you see them uh, coming up. Oh my god. Willie's eyes opened up. <laughs> I can see. It was just it was just the, the dark. Um, now that the day has come. Uh, you can see it, again. Yeah. Oh, Willie, no, you're, you're, you're not you quite you able to, yeah, to, 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 <laughs> to pick them out. <laughs> uh, coming up. However, uh, Vili, you see Willa look like she's at the uh, entrance, like at the fork of the road, looking uh, kind of down the road. It uh, doesn't look like she's noticed y'all yet. Yeah, uh, I'm and focused the sound on that. Of, 
of rioting is getting louder. Uh, Thorntooth, uh, what do you want to do now that you're in the uh, in the brawl? Oh, I'm just gonna start swinging. Really. Okay. Uh, roll a d20. <laughs> What's that? Roll a d20. Okay. Uh, so you are pulled into the mass of bodies, and uh, it's it's like a ball pit. Like when you're inside the ball pit, kind of, but of, of bodies of bed rolls and, and elbows and knees and heads, kind of, you know, doing one inch headbutts at, at other people. Uh, right. As you're passing by, you're kind of tumbling through everyone, getting little pops here and there. You're uh, able to, to successfully hit eight people. Uh, and you, you feel a couple broken noses as you're going through. Uh, and suddenly you're, you're kind of pulled up uh, to your feet. Uh, so, Vili. Ignatius and Runin come up and, and well, uh, they're in sight now. You like you see them coming up on horses on the Clippity Clops. Uh, Runin oh. does not look uh, <laughs> happy. Uh, he's not really furious, but he, he doesn't look very happy. Oh, hey, you guys. Uh, well, see, what happened was uh, we wanted to sneak past that... Uh enchantment there and um yeah studebaker and thorntooth need some help probably maybe uh so uh as as y'all uh the horses slide to a stop and saruna gets uh gets off his horse uh thorntooth as you're you're pulled up by your uh by like your neck uh give me uh two strength checks Uh, so, uh, as you're pulled up by your neck, you uh, as you're coming out of the pile, you grab two bodies. Uh, one of them is in a bedroll. The other one looks like a smaller uh, construction worker, like a, a <laughs> gnome construction worker. So you got one person in each hand, and you're pulled up by your neck uh, by the by the foreman as everyone kind of freezes, uh, and you look up, and Saruna is dismounting uh, from his horse as you've got. One uh, a person held in each hand, about to slam their heads together. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna uh, like put them together and be like, "Now hug, hug it <laughs> out, guys." Uh, I want to pop up out of my shell and say, "Well, this security exam went just about as bad as I thought it would go." <laughs> Give me a persuasion check uh, with disadvantage. Ignore my calm emotions since everybody seems to be trying to act like they weren't fighting in front of the fucking principal. So I didn't need <laughs> to do that. All right. Uh, <laughs> you hear Renan laughing, and uh, he says, Yes, this, uh, this security exercise was, uh, was a little awful. Might need to tighten up security around your tents as well if these men apparently can uh, so easily rile you up. And are, are all of y'all missing your clothes? Not me, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, I've got my clothes. Get out of his clothes. Um, all right, yeah, I'll take them off. And... <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, do, I still, do I still look like Studebaker? No, no. You, you look like a construction worker. You're still in disguise. Okay, um, then I want to pop out of it. You'll pop out of it. Okay. Uh, so, so you, you get out of your clothes like the Hulk when you <laughs> pop out of it. <laughs> yeah. You're like, see, we were able to come in here and steal your clothes and get you all to fight each other. What kind of clowns are you? Uh, they, you they, a lot of them are kind of uh, shuffling their feet and their heads are down. Uh, the foreman's looking confused, angry, and then uh, dejected, like all real quick. Um, an emotion flashing by his face, but he tells the men to get, you know, get lined up. Like six of them still are uh, in bed rolls because all of the clothes were stolen, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Saruman just says, "All right, Foreman, come here. Start going back to work. Um, I don't know, put it, have some people share clothes that they've got, whatever, like whatever clothes they need." Um, Tell the ones that don't have hard hats, don't go acting up onto the thing. Just be have them be on uh, on carry duty. I'll get some more clothes going uh, and distribute it up. Stuart Baker, uh, Thorn Tooth. Yes. Come here. All right. We need a debrief, all right? 
So, hey, uh, I just uh, see a lot. Uh, yes, R Runin. The other, the other one's name is Willa. Oh wait, she's here. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. She was, she was sitting here. Uh, not. I forgot she was already over. Here. I'm just gonna yeah, look the uh, other way. Like, nope, I was more to this. Nope. Actually, get everyone. <laughs> uh, your worship, it seems that uh, you, like us, are plagued with a, a swarm of idiots. Oh, there's, <laughs> yeah, there's this been is a lot an of uh, as its finest. <laughs> been a lot of uh, changes going on. I think everyone's just kind of a little confused and stressed out about it all. Uh, which brings me to. Put your foot down and take authority again. These people are not doing well managing themselves. Well, I'm not saying that you, know, you did a great job. I mean, my city got blown up, but you know, hey, we'll give you well, one. <laughs> in, uh, we're we're kind of <laughs> you know letting everything kind of run its course a little bit. Some things are going to happen. Everyone's kind of on edge of all these changes, but basically, um, when you said, uh, you know, gentle overthrow, uh, kind of yes, kind of no, um, mostly a step down. Uh, you know, I, I never really wanted to be the whole ruling thing. I wanted to go out and be in and travel. You know, that's that's supposed to be the the job that the uh, you know fourth in line gets. You know, I don't I don't want the, the trouble of trying to have to rule. Um, <laughs> But you know now, you know suddenly all in one night, your entire family gets murdered by some crazed lunatic, and you're put in charge. Uh, but you know, think you're basically it. sorry, Nicholas. Basically, what happened is we split everyone up into their own kind of districts uh, that are that are ruled over by advisors of mine, uh, specialists, and in, in you know the districts. You've you've got your merchant guild, the thieves guild. Uh, the residential quarters and the overseeing of the uh, the city workers, which is overseen uh, by the uh, city guardsman or the guard commander. So you took a system that works, right? So one guy is in charge of it all. Sure, it's a little tough for that guy, but he replaced that with a system where there's a million guys all at cross purposes, all looking out for themselves. Wow, are there a million right? districts? Well, you know that's what I'm a, saying. A lot, that's a lot guys. of districts. <laughs> but, oh. mm -hmm. you know, you've decentralized. You know what's decentralized? Chaos. Well, no, see, so they all ultimately answer to me, but I'm more of a, a, a full overseer. I make sure everyone plays ball with each other. Um, and and we're all kind of going towards the same common goal, but it distributes things out. You know, I, one person can't be everywhere all at once, uh, and and I can't know the needs of all of my people all at once as, as well. So we decided that kind of uh, a, a top-down tiered government would uh, work a little bit better, you know, with the the, the people uh, electing their representatives for their their district uh, to see to their specific needs and then we all kind of make sure everyone's good to go that's that's my job uh however it, it lends a little bit more lax on my part i can kind of take a uh a remote access uh position uh ignatius you're do doing insight i was just making sure he still seems as cool as he was the first time we talked to him because i don't remember if any of us kind of looked him up and down and made sure this story is completely on the up and up but i assume with a 12 i just believe him yeah even, so uh he's he, a little bit yeah i mean he's he's uh someone new that's going to throw into a role that didn't really want it uh so well, it does, I mean, he. It sounds like he knows what he's doing, and he's he's getting a system that could probably work. Um, you can also tell that a little bit of it is a little selfish. Yeah, I mean, he do, he doesn't want to have to rule over everyone to make uh, decisions uh, for an entire city all by himself. He kind of wants to go out and do things, and this way he can do both. So let's go see the robot. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the, okay. That was the whole reason that I came and got you because this chaos all started because they wanted to look at the robot and just didn't come ask you about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If we want to uh, take a look at the robot, um, well, you know, I, I don't have my direct hands and everything. I still afford all privileges of that of a, a ruling body. Uh, uh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, so the, the, Starts making, uh, leading the way towards the robot, and uh, just, people are already getting going. Like the instructor is already uh, kind of going uh, with their daily duties. And it seems that all the men that are uh, that didn't have clothes and are in bedrolls right now, they've kind of roped off the bedrolls to where they can have their arms outside the bedroll, but the actual bedroll itself comes up to like their chest level, like a strapless dress. Uh, so they're able to still use their hands, uh, but none of them are wearing hard hats, so they're not right next to the big uh, titan to where anything could fall and kill them. Uh, and it looks like they have um, some wizards or some spellcasters up on the bodies. Looks like they are lighting uh, fires to effectively cut away at the at the metal. And uh, y'all making your way up to the scaffolding, you've got uh, full view and clearance of the where, like what they're doing and uh, where the like to travel on the Titan, except for in the areas where they're directly cutting at things and, and doing all that. They won't let you there. That's just a safety issue. All right, uh, Billy, you uh, go around. And you can see like you can see the scars of your battle on this Titan. Uh, there is a large chunk of its midsection uh, that has been kind of caved in, uh, and there's a hole in it. It looks uh, almost as if um, you know something pulled all like all the metal in, and then it's kind of waved and warped around that hole. Uh, so it, it seems like something pulled it all in, and then a force blew it out. Uh, so it's it's very odd looking. Uh, how the how the metal is shaped around the hole that's in the center of its chest. Can we go back to that map? Hole, how big is the hole? Do what? Chess? Can we go back to that map? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So y'all. So how back. big is this hole? Uh, the hole is uh, eighty. Feet. Oh no! Yeah, eighty feet in uh, in diameter. Ah. So ah. it's it's a pretty big hole. All right. Um... I, mean, I did an arcana check on the uh, thing in general. Okay. So in general, um, you you can still feel like this this whole thing thrums with magical energy. It doesn't seem active. Uh, like it doesn't like you. You don't think this thing is gonna just jump up and suddenly start working again? Uh, it's but it's almost like the thing was so imbued with arcane energy that even after it's it's inert, like this metal is just infused with it. It's it's innately just sleeping beneath the surface. Interesting. Uh, Billy, what are you illusioning? Uh, well, it was a mistake. I thought that it would okay. give me some light, but it does. It specifically says it does not create light. So I was going to try to climb into the hole, but without okay. light, that doesn't seem like a great idea. Well, but it is daylight right now, so you can see into it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, Olivia... we have lanterns. Yeah, is there like a foreman or something that could take us on a tour of everything in there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's the foreman that uh, that you you met. Um, and <laughs> he's probably the, not the, the biggest man, fan of ours. Thanks, Judah Baker. And yeah, you you start walking towards uh, the man that uh, you you met as foreman, and he does not look happy to see you at all until he sees Sarunin behind uh, behind y'all, and he changes his tune and has a, a smile on his face as as y'all walk up. He's like, yes, y'all are the uh, security detail that came to surprisingly uh, test our security. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, you failed are... horribly. Well, you know. Things are new. We're uh, we're ironing out the kinks. Ain't that right, sir? We'll get him. We'll get him next time. What's your well, name? Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, my name is Bob. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. Great. Uh, can you take me on a tour of uh, this uh, mechanism here? 
of course. Uh, so we can t- talk about uh, everything we found so far. So this stuff, uh, I, I don't really, you know, I'm not really into the whole magical doodad stuff, but uh, this thing thrums. All right, baby, this this baby right here, he taps a bit of the metal. This thing purrs. Uh, weird enough, yeah. I mean, normally, norm, normally metal is a purr. Um, but you know, it's it's interesting stuff. Uh, if you look at this architecture over here, you can see how the joints uh, they're not even really welded together with with flame. It's like they were grown like this. It's it's amazing. You don't really see any uh, any seams on it or anything. Everything's just very well, seamless. Um, and he's he's one like you're he's, you're losing him in a, in a in a train of him talking about the design uh, of the machine Bob, instead of doing Bob a sounds, walkthrough tour. Bob sounds like an insufferable art school student, and I love him. <laughs> Uh, Billy, uh, you so you you can climb into the hole. Then I do. Okay, so uh, you climb into the hole. Uh, there are still bits of uh, walkway inside the machine, uh, but a lot of the the internal structure where the chest is uh, has been blown away. And if you look up, there's there's a pretty sizable hole, uh, not eighty feet, but there's a uh, you'd guess here. Uh, probably about 20 foot uh, hole in the ceiling that um, if your memory serves you correct, uh, that's where the uh, uh, control room of this whole thing is where the head is um, that y'all went into that had where the orb uh, pedestal was. Uh, well, he's not going to try to climb. Uh, okay. He's just going to look around and uh, see if he can see what he can see. I guess I'll give you an extra Perception. Okay. Uh, so and with the, the investigation. Okay. So you, it, it, this looks like the structure. It just all of this is made up to keep it the structure of this thing going. There's not really a whole lot of platforms around. Uh, there, there are a few, but those look they were actually made by the the workers that are that are working on this thing. Uh, other than that, it looks almost like a you know, skeletal. Um, like a, like a humanoid skeleton in it. It's got like a rib cage structure. It's got a central pillar uh, that goes up, that then splits at the bottom into the four legs, uh, and just looks yeah. It, and it's got um, two arm pieces that are coming out the side that go uh, to where the arms are, and the okay. central pillar goes all the way up to where you know the uh, cockpit is. And uh, well, you're percepting it a, uh, a bit harder you notice that all of the beams and structures on it uh it's very very slight but it looks like there are runes carved in uh, going all the length uh of the steel and uh so everyone uh so but yeah bob's just going on uh on and on about the the makeup of this thing yeah this uh, thing is uh, like serious bad juju oh um, that's what that's kind of what you're getting that there there's there's a lot of uh, arcane energy going on here with this that's met with very structurally sound uh, building, like physical material building. I'm just you know enthralled. No <laughs> Do what? Billy? I said we know how structural it is. <laughs> All right. All right so, yeah, so y'all haven't y'all have moved from the spot uh, that y'all y'all saw Bob in yet. He's been going for about 10 minutes now on the spiel. Uh, he's, oh, well, you probably don't want to hear about all that uh, that boring stuff about how it was made. You're, you're wanting to tour around? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, right here we've got uh, you know, the, the, the base of, uh, of the model. You see all the legs coming out. And like, like platform, this is where we first kind of uh, – started our track and it looks like they're like around the base of it they haven't really gotten a whole lot of work done near the top of re- removing things uh, but it looks like just piecewise on the legs and kind of around like the waist area of this thing have been uh starting to peel back and uh yeah this this metal is uh is, is amazing so we we started with just you know doing little scaffolds here and there so we can uh safe you know safety is key when you uh, when you're building uh so you know no one falls or anything like that uh, we haven't really made it up to the uh, to the control room yet, uh, but uh, but I hear that's so a big explosion happened. We know all about it. 
Oh yeah, hey. that's right. Uh, you you uh, you destroyed this thing. Uh, Question how was for you. that? Yeah, yeah. What what's what kind of metal is this? Do you know? Well, it uh it looks like gold, uh, but it uh, it's a lot lighter than gold. I mean, if you look and if you look, uh, they've got a like a big swath of the gold, uh, probably about a, a roughly square, um, ten foot uh, square area, and like one person's carrying it like above their head. Uh, do you think, you know, since we slayed this beast, that perhaps maybe you could make a axe out of some of this metal that I could have? Well, uh, you know, and he, he's looking at Sir Runin, uh, you know, he, it's all supposed to be going to the, and Runin cuts him off and he says, well, these, uh, these men here did me a good service and I did tell them they could have uh, whatever they would like in reward. Don't you think you could have uh, whatever metal you, you would want? For your, for an axe, sweet. Yeah, I would sweet. like to uh, I would like to throw my name into that hat as well. This looks like it would make a mighty fine shield. Okay, uh, let me bait some things. Hey, does anybody have um, reduce or enlarge self or reduce enlarge reduce by chance? No, no. not really trying to think of how we can get up there <laughs> you know having been up there i don't want to go up there well i've never been up there so i definitely want to go <laughs> okay just writing uh there's notes down of that what both y'all wanted um as payment there we go cool um so, uh, so, Billy, do you want to do anything else while you're seeing like all these rune things? Um, oh, there it is! Yay! So while y'all are uh, just kind of doing a, a just around uh, the waist of the machine, Willa just appears. Uh, she's not with the, the tour party anymore, uh, and uh, Rune saw you go up, Willa, because he was in the back, and he's he's kind of smiling a little bit uh, as you. Spider climb up the side of this thing. Uh, Willie will look over the runes, and if he has, I believe he does have pen and paper, uh, he'll try to draw some of them just to get a representative idea. If the whole thing's covered with it, it would take like a library uh, yeah, to, to, to get it all. all. So just um, maybe to get an idea of the language and the. Uh, you know, some mm -hmm. of the. I, I would imagine these are strengthening runes. Yeah. So you, uh, if, if you want to give me an Arcana check to see if you can kind of get a pattern down. Okay. Uh, so you are able to to determine a pattern down. It's not all like they're not all different runes going uh, going up the, and uh, imbuing the the whole length of this structure. Just A C T like and G. <laughs> there's a there's just a there's a set three patterns going on uh and you're able to decipher one of them uh but not the other two uh one of them you as you're writing the patterns down just for future keeping uh you recognize one of the patterns it's rudimentary um uh, and in like the language itself is very rudimentary and uh, and crude. There's nothing elegant about it, uh, but you're able to loosely recognize the uh, pattern for a like absorption, uh, like runes. Uh, anything that has to do with you know absorbing energies, absorbing magics, absorbing life, those kind of uh, base uh, rune patterns is what you see here. Okay. Uh, the other two you don't recognize, though. All right, but I'll copy all three patterns. Yeah, yeah, you're able to get all three patterns. All right, and I will uh, perhaps be able to figure it out at a future date. Perhaps. Uh, and uh, Willa. Parkour. Yeah, so you're you're just spider climbing uh, and uh, flipping all over the place to get. Where are you going? Uh, to the head chamber where you know the control room was 
Yeah. So you get to where uh, the eye, well, like there, you know, the eyes are, and there are holes blasted in it from the uh, from the battle. You flip into it. Go ahead and give me a perception check. And if everyone else, uh, Vili, you see this happen because you're like right there, the barrier, like at the edge of the, the ship, like near the center, oh, or edge on. of the tight near the center. Uh, so Ignatius, Studebaker, and Thorntooth, give me perception checks. See if you see Willa. Hold on. It's not popping up for me. My character sheet won't come up. Hold on. Let me reload the page really quick. Yeah, uh, yeah Justin, you see her flipping up like the side bit and go into where the head is. Okay. Uh, Ignatius, you you hear like you see that as well. Uh, Chaz, yeah, yeah, you're able to see you're able to see Willa just as she goes through the eye. Okay, man, her hair uh, looks great while she does that too. That's how good I saw. <laughs> Jeez, I need to learn that spell. Uh, Bob yeah. is uh, Bob is able to see. Him because, <laughs> oh, um, hmm, uh, sir. Technically, since uh, I told them they're not supposed to be up there and they came with you, that's not going to be on us to have to, right? Right. I mean, we, we did all the safety precautions we could. And uh, so <laughs> Runa just starts laughing a little bit. All right. So with 24 perception, you, Do you get... see what I see? see. <laughs> Which is everything. We don't. We're down <laughs> here. So you, uh, you take a survey of the control room, and it looks like they're... Uh, there are four chairs uh, that are centered around. Well, they're not there anymore. Uh, they're mm. kind of blasted away, and they were blasted so hard that on the walls that are bowed out, you can see the see the imprint uh, of you know like the dust of the the chairs that were just blown in so hard they were actually embedded into the wall. And it looks like you can count four chairs, and what looks like uh, the floor. Uh, and the explosion. It looks like there used to be a center pedestal here, and kind of doing some mental math and calculations and visuals, you're able to piece together that there were four chairs that faced inward towards this center pedestal. Hmm. And also, it looks like webs were fused into the wall as well, because uh, it, it, yeah, it looks like there's some like spider webbiness uh, that that is textured in the wall now as well. Uh, other than hmm. that, you it just looks like there was a bomb that blew up in here. Uh, there's not a whole lot to really salvage out of this. Uh, you can see in the back where the uh, pickle cucumber containers uh, would be coming in to uh, into the control, like you know, into the control room. Hmm. Uh, it looks like that hole is like blown open, so you could actually walk to where the uh, pickles are. Hmm. Well, where well, the containers are, and they, it's completely empty. Oh, okay. Um, it looks like the rest of the radiation just kind of seeped out through the hole that was blown, uh, and is probably way down deep in the ocean. Hmm. Well, um, I guess that's that. Uh, yeah, so it looked, yeah, uh, right now it just kind of looks like they're salvaging this metal for whatever they can use it for. No uh, evidence as to what happened. Why didn't we die? Like, those chairs look in pretty rough condition. Yeah, why, why didn't y'all die? <laughs> uh, you, you not find your answers to those questions here. What happened all right. to all the radiation? Uh, radiation, oh, you asking Bob? Yeah. Well, uh, see... What happened was, uh, that's, well, um, that's how we didn't lose anyone uh, to this expedition. But that's why we, we didn't lose anyone, because we were taking the uh, expedition very safely. And uh, on the first expedition, we did, went down there to kind of pull this up. We saw that there was radiation leaking out of it, so we waited until it all leaked out. Yep. Hmm. So it's just out in the sea? Somewhere. So that's... Okay. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a big ocean, you know? What, what's a little radiation? <laughs> yeah, people forget about that really fast. <laughs> Real quick. Is your name, like, is your last name Osha? Uh, no, it's Builder. Ah. I don't need that. <laughs> Bob Builder. Bob, yep, Bob Builder. <laughs> and uh, it's it. So, Rudy, don't call uh, me Robert. That was my father. <laughs> 
uh, Runin, uh, you know, kind of thanks the the foreman, uh, lets him go on with his duty, and uh, he, he's well. Once uh, once everyone, I guess, come, comes back, uh, well, yeah. Anyway, we'll 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 start. Uh, so the we'll we'll go ahead and debrief here. Uh, so you told me, and I I was a little tired, so I kind of only remember a little bit. Uh, there's there's six more of these things. Four more. Yeah. Well, All right. maybe well, three and a half. Three and a half. Well, we found a piece of the white one. There is a red one that blew up, but of course, with, who knows if that was the end of it or if it just went somewhere else. Uh, the blue one was in the the guy who blew up the city. Uh, we found a broken piece of white one that was inside of a kind of a skeleton guy that we yeah, got that into. Yeah, that guy was a jerk. Uh, so there's two more. There's a black one and uh, I don't know the other color. Green. Uh, oh, green. A black one and a green one. So there's at least two definite whole ones. The one that's in that crazy SOB that blew up the city and a partial. Do we still have that? I can't remember what we did with it. The, I got it shark. in my bag. Yep. Okay. I still have it. There. Um, all right, so so at, we're thinking probably two of these still left, right? Well, or active, we don't or, know. I mean, yeah, maybe. So far, we've Did seen one that was in a huge chest that was flying a giant ship that busted the hell out of the town. One was in this thing. Uh, one was in a a piece of one was in a skeleton guy. Uh, we should probably try to figure out what percentage of a sphere you have at some point, Iggy, and maybe we'll get an idea of how many skeleton guys one of those spheres can power. And so we have <laughs> one less than that number ru rumbling around somewhere. Now, these guys are at this library, with the spider library, I call it, and uh, I don't know what they were looking for because they were a little belligerent. They were a lot belligerent. They were assholes. And they started a fight right away. And people who start a fight with us usually don't get a chance to answer questions about why. Thorntooth? Yeah. So, well, we know that there's there's one, one man who has an orb. Might be a problem for later. And he definitely doesn't like you. Eh, well, I guess technically I'm not royalty anymore. I guess I am leader, though. Hmm. Well, problems for future me. Um, so, all right. We got him rolling around, some shard of one thing, and two that could be anywhere. Now, from my, uh, from my younger days, I know, uh, I know some, some people... Uh, that might have ways of getting information. Hmm. Uh, they're on a, they're on, they're on another, another, another plane, like another landmass plane, not under the plane of existence. And, like uh, on another level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like another level. Cause we're on um, level three, right? Yeah. Yeah. And well, they, uh, might be some shady people. They, uh, well, information pays. So uh, a, little, a little higher up there. Maybe we could uh, go go pay a visit and try to get some information out. Maybe we can get some scouts going. See if we might, uh, you know, be able to hunt anything else down on what's going on. Which brings me to my next thing. Now, you all, I, ha I have to pay you something. Uh, Ignatius and Thorntooth. If I already got requests from y'all, we'll get those filled as soon as we can. And Thanks. Can I do anything else? Yeah, for the my shield's going to be awesome. Thank you. Uh, can we make arrows out of this stuff, too? Probably. Cool. Okay, uh, so Willow wants arrows. I just want you to um, 
rebuilt the city and possibly uh, an area that has been rebuilt that you've just put a plaque dedicating a park or a small area to the wheelie flying un unicorn. Okay, Vili wants a plaque for wheelie flying unicorn. Is there going to be like a fantasy Leslie Nope who's super excited about making the plaque? <laughs> oh, a little smash. Uh, and uh, Studebaker, anything for you? Uh, well, I would like to make shoes for the robot, so I'm going to need a lot of leather. Okay. okay. Yep, we can we can get you that. Is that all you want? That's it for me. Okay. Yeah, that that could be pretty pretty easy requests uh, to make. Now, actually, uh, I have the plans should... here, so I just want to give that. To, I want to give the plans to the foreman so that he can have his <laughs> people make the shoes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do that. So, uh, which brings me on to my next thing. Now, I know. Well, I, I went on adventures when I was younger, but it's been quite a while. So I'm not I'm not as great of a fighter as all, uh, but I I know some things and maybe I can learn some more. But I feel like, and if you'll do this request for me, if I could travel with you by status, well, uh, not as you know uh, absolute as it used to be, can still grease some wheels, uh, if you will, and also. I kind of, kind of want to go and try to find my old bardic guard, try to bring her back. So, uh, so what you're saying is that Rune and Frummy wants to run with us because that's fantastic. I'm down. Yes, if if you'll have me on your ship. Oh, well, also, I just yeah, remembered. Sure, totally, totally by my myself. I remembered this completely all by myself. I also want uh, uh banjo strings. <laughs> Just, just oh, regular those... banjo strings. Yeah, you could just you could make them out of this stuff, and just okay. and I want to point to the gold medal. Okay. Those invisible voices that talk to you told you about the banjo strings, huh, Studio? Yeah, Vegas. my memory comes in and out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Studio Baker gets banjo strings. <laughs> all righty so perfect uh we'll go ahead and uh end there for tonight uh before we get going on our next adventure uh to a shady upper uh upper level uh world with an extra character intel uh and hopefully some some awesome things for the, for the party to have uh for next time I would like to point out that, like, as a part of local government, Rune and Frummy got away with fucking murder right there. He <laughs> lost the price. He lost the price of labor to make shoes for a giant thing. That's the only amount of money he spent on our reward right there. That they're disassembling. Yeah, that he's just given us pieces of. All he has. To to do is tell the big turtle yeah sure we're gonna make the shoes and he makes a plaque for the little guy he spent like 30 bucks yeah hey there but he asked whatever y'all wanted <laughs> yeah should have asked for a pony <laughs> oh yeah we can't no, forget we a, pony, a pony made of the stuff <laughs> oh god all right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us this evening. Uh, we will be back next week. Um, and then next month, we're going to uh, – we're still kind of figuring out when we're going to be doing that and who's going to be playing. Um, but we're looking at the 22nd um, for Jay DMing the Wicked Packs campaign. Um, so we'll keep everybody updated on that with, uh, you know, on social media and such. Um, and then also just a quick, uh, reminder, one last reminder for everybody to go check out Dungeon Fog. Um, you can get, you can create a free account at dungeonfog.com and get in there and just see what kind of assets are available. Lots of really cool stuff to make cool maps. Um, if you decide that you want to purchase it, you can use man shorts for 10% off the annual subscription. Um, but other than that, we will see you all next Wednesday as we continue on with the airships campaign. Dos for Danya, show you. Hey, everybody. Everyone, Bye, have, everyone have a good night.